Right you guys, got a quick video here for you on how to create a local account while you're setting up or installing Windows 10. So first off, once you boot up to your USB flash drive with your Windows 10 on it and click install, it will start to set up and start your installation process. So I'm gonna speed this right up here so we can get to the part where we uh, need to set up a local account. So I'm gonna say I don't have a product key and I'm gonna choose the Windows version that I need. In this case, it's gonna be Windows 10 Home because these are the people that are affected the most with the uh, local account. So I'm gonna accept their terms and conditions and click next. And then we can go to custom install for Windows only advanced. And you can see we have got an unallocated space here. I'm just gonna click next. Now, if you do wanna partition your drive out, you can do it at that stage, or you can in just install it on that one partition and uh, separate the partition a little bit later on when the installation process is finished. So now what we're gonna do next is restart the system. Let that restart. And then of course it will start starting services up and getting things ready for your installation. So we'll just let that do its thing. And then it will move on to this next stage, which is uh, your Cortana and setting up Cortana. Now, once we get to the Cortana stage, I'm just going to opt out of this. Now you can leave Cortana on if you wish. I'm going to opt out and turn her off because I don't want Cortana running on my system. But if you do, you can just leave that enabled and let that run. Now we need to set up our region and I'm going to put the United Kingdom. You can select whatever you like. Then we need to put our keyboard layout and I'm going to do the United Kingdom again and move on to the next stage. I'm going to skip here. And now what it's going to do is get to the network stage, which is going to get things ready and make you sign into the Microsoft account here. You don't have to sign into Microsoft to set up this account. You can either disconnect your internet at this stage and hit the back button, or you can uh, put in create account and try to create an account, okay? There's no extra options down here to set uh, a local account up, but if you want to put an offline account or local account, this is what you're gonna have to do. Turn off your internet, pull the ethernet cable out, disable your Wi-Fi connection, whatever it is you need to do, do that before you continue. And then once you've done that, you can now type in uh, create account. So I'm gonna just quickly disable the ethernet here in this virtual machine, but you can just pull the ethernet cable out of your router if you wish, or the back of your computer. Now I'm gonna click on uh, create account here, or you can hit the back button, it's entirely up to you. So once you click on create account, it will try to create an account, and because it hasn't got an internet connection, it's gonna kick back with an error. And this is pretty normal, so don't panic. This is saying something went wrong and this is normal. Now what we can do is click the skip button. And once we click the skip button, this is gonna make us uh, set up a local account. And that's pretty much as simple as that. So that's how you can still get your local account by doing that method. You can see now we're on a local account setup, put in your name that you wanna use for your user account. And then we can go through to the next stage. Put in a password if you wish. I'm going to skip that bit and go on to the next step. I'm going to say no here, but if you do want to have that, you can do. I'm going to say no. I'm going to decline here also. I'm also going to decline on a lot of other stuff that you see coming up on the screen. And the reason for this is because I don't want to be part of Microsoft's uh, data collection program. So I'm going to say no here to a lot of this stuff. There we go, basic. No, no again, and no again. And that will then go through to the setting up phase here. So it's just gonna get some things ready for us and get it set up. So there you can see now, we're now starting to install Windows and get it prepared and set up that user profile for us. And we should be at the desktop like we're in now. So now we can go to settings and check to see whether you've got a local account, which you should have and uh, you should see a local can populate on the screen there. Anyway, that's about it for this video. That's basically how you can set up a local account or an offline account in Windows 10 during the installation process of Windows 10 
My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.